Hey, it's Norm from Tested, and for the 11th day of Tested Christmas, my final day, I want to talk to you about quadcopters, specifically mini quadcopters. We've tested some of these before. There's the famous Parrot AR drone, which is not a drone because it's not autonomous. It's actually just a remote controlled quadcopter. That was 300 bucks, but it's that's a it's a one off. That thing is it's, it's really a toy glorified iPhone accessory. Um, a lot of people, if they want to get in the quadcopters, uh, it's, I would not recommend spending $500 or $1,000 on a really nice one. You want to learn flight mechanics first. And for that, we have a guide on tested on how to get started. Our recommendation is the 1SQ mini quadcopter from Helimax. And this one comes in two varieties. There's a $99 version, $100 version that doesn't come with a transmitter. If you want to provide your own, that's the controller. Or what I have here, a $130 version, which actually comes with this transmitter. Everything you need comes in the box to get started flying. The nice thing about mini quads is they're very maneuverable. They don't take a lot of power, long time to charge. This does run on a rechargeable battery. And you can fly them indoors as well as outdoors to, to get your bearings, to learn how to control one of these quadcopters. It's not the same thing as you would find at like, for example, if you one of those kiosks at the mall. Those are toy quadcopters. This is more of a hobby copter, which means the parts you can actually swap out. And I did actually break some parts on this. It comes with four replacement propellers and you can pop them out, pop them back in. You can disassemble the whole thing if you really wanted to, but of course you want to get to flying. So what you do is you recharge the battery, which gives you about 10 to 15 minutes of flying. There's a gyro and accelerometer inside, and then you lay it flat. And when you plug it into the, the power, it takes about two seconds, two to three seconds to calibrate. So it knows what's on an even plane. Now on the transmitter, uh, it's very basic. It runs on four AA batteries. You have trim settings, which you will need to adjust the stability. Um, and you have two sticks, so one for power, and it's zero to 100%. And then for maneuvering, it's on the right stick here. There are two modes for flying, one for easy and one for more sensitive advanced flying. And I actually like switching this down to low sensitivity, about 15% sensitivity, to get some really fine control in an indoor environment. Um, took about a week to really get used to flying this around the house and you do need high ceilings. Toughest part I found was getting it balanced, hovering to a point where I could set the trim and then get it maneuvering. A light wind or even you know, air conditioning will blow it off and have it hit a wall and break a propeller. But uh, for $130, you can have a lot of fun learning the mechanics, flight mechanics of a quadcopter, of a mini quad, before you want to tackle something like a, a big quadcopter that you build yourself. That's something that might cost $1,000 or $1,500. So that's Helimax's 1SQ. You buy it on Amazon. This kit's 130 bucks. We recommend it. And of course, if you've been watching our 12 days of Tested Christmas, you might notice that I've been wearing a different shirt every time. We have merch on the store now. This is the Jamie and Adam shirt. It says Tested. You can buy them at store. I think store.tested.com, shop.tested.com. Tested.com, there's a link on the front page. You can support us by getting a shirt. It's a great, great shirt, American Apparel. That's it for me for the 12 days of Tested Christmas. Have a great holiday. A great new year. Where did this year go? 2013. Wow, wow, wow. I'm Norm. I'll see you guys next year, next time on Tested.com.